Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Java Edition for the latest 1.16 Nether Snapshot. Now this week, the developers have finally introduced the Red Dragon. This is going to be a new mob, it will generate inside the end dimension. I will explain to you guys how it works. We also have the introduction of new ores, changes to mobs, and even better dungeons. Now if you guys want to check this out for yourself, there will be a link down below. They've even added a marketplace to Minecraft Java. I'm gonna let you guys click this and check out the free maps for yourself. So the developers made a little bit of a mistake because this week's snapshot is 20w14a. They kind of forgot to change that. It's not a big deal, but let's go to game and let's check out all this week's new features. So I actually think this week's snapshot is the best one introduced yet. Now in case you guys don't know how snapshots work, we are currently in the year 2020. That's what the 20 stands for. The W stands for week. We are in week 14 of 2020 and it is the first snapshot of its kind. We have the introduction of a new block, Slate. Now with Slate, you are then able to create yourself Slate Chunks. As you guys can see with these, in the, uh, that's the wrong one. With these, in this formation, the outcome will be Slate. It is uh, also used to make stairs, and also gonna be used to make slabs as well. It's a very decorative block. I think it's a fantastic introduction to the game. We have more than just one block though. We also have the introduction of limestone. Both of these can be found in the overworld. They can be found in cave systems. They can be found on mountain tops. Uh, again, we also have the introduction of limestone bricks, which if I'm totally honest with you, are gonna look very good in kitchen and bathroom designs. Let me know in the comments section what you guys are gonna be using these blocks for. In the same formation as previously, you can also get yourself the stairs and the slabs. And just like previously, they look absolutely beautiful. A fantastic introduction to the game. They can also be found inside the nether as well. So yeah, two new blocks to start off with. I think that's a pleasant surprise. We then have the introduction of two new ores. Now this one is found in the overworld. And this one, well, this can be found inside the nether. It's called Seconite. Seconite, I think that's what it's called. Now, the best thing about this is, right, a new overworld item, or this can be used to make pretty much everything you need to make. Now, in terms of mining it, you have to mine this using uh, a diamond pick, so we have to go back to game mode survival. Uh, upon mining this, You'll then be given the ocule. Uh, you'll get quite a bunch of these actually. You get It's not just one per, per ore. So I think that's a, a great introduction this time. But like I said, they come in all shapes and sizes and they do quite a lot. So if we go back to creative real fast, I can show you a couple of cool things with this. So we can have it as a pickaxe, a sword, a shovel, an ax, a hoe, a block, we can have it as an ore, but you can also make yourself armor and so much more. Now, the armor gives you a boost, right? So if we place on our armor, dude, we glow. We physically glow. I, I, I love the texture of this. So not only do we have netherite armor, we also have the introduction of this as well. We have a new food, which is the carrot. We also have a better golden apple, which is this apple, and this one right here gives you quite a few decent effects. You have continuous healing, bouncing, turbo, glowing, and absorption. So, man, who would not want to do this? <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. And then this is what the, the weapons look like. So we have the pickaxe, the sword, the shovel that looks like a mushroom, the axe, the hoe, and like I said, we've got a couple more of these things as well. So yeah, I think the armor is a fantastic introduction in terms of this as well. We need to grab ourselves a diamond. That, 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 there we go. We need to grab ourselves this and we need to go back to game mode survival uh, because it has to be done in this. So it works the exact same. It's just an ore that can be found in both dimensions. And I think the outcome is, is magnificent. Who would not want the introduction of these? So you now have a chance in Minecraft to obtain 
these styled logs. Now in terms of their spawning and generation, well, these are gonna spawn inside the nether because these are new nether types. And these are gonna spawn inside the overworld. Now, it happens quite frequently from my understanding. Uh, who, who, who doesn't want circles in Minecraft, man, as if that's not illegal in this game. Um, and this is how the trees look as well. They look beautiful and even they look really good inside villages as well. It's the same for bone blocks. They're also round as well. So I know the developers have been tweaking a lot of gold. Uh, unfortunately, that new armor replaced gold. Gold is no longer a thing in Minecraft anymore, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately. Uh, bedrock can now be crafted into stairs, walls, and slabs. <gasps> And the observer now goes ooh woo 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 and looks really 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 cute. <laughs> Took him a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, I know we had the introduction of the strider recently, right? This little thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Shivers when it's not in lava. Poor little thing. Looks like uh Jabba the Hut. Um what are you doing in? They finally introduced the obsidian boats. Obsidian boats are now a thing in Minecraft. These are used inside lava. They do need uh, a little bit of work though. You can definitely tell that this is this week's snapshot because if we put this inside a lava, like this, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's not what we want. But you do get fire resistance. Whenever you are in this, you are, uh, fire resistance or forward slash game mode survival. You're not gonna burn. But finally, guys, it took them long enough to get these introduced, but we do fire. Oh, oh, I'm gonna burn, aren't I? Are we gonna burn? I think we're gonna burn. Now, in terms of crafting this, well, it's the same way as any other boats. This is the method. An obsidian bait boat is obtained. My wolf and my little piggy are enjoying them at the moment. So they have renamed Diamond. Diamond is now called Overworld Eight. So Overworld Eight Pickaxe, Sword, Block, and uh, Overworld. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We have Overworld Eight Axe. This is the new axe introduced. Makes so much more sense. We did get the introduction of a new ore, and believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, when they are smelted. It's coming up. Give us the goodies. The outcome, when smelted in this or even in a blast furnace, is going to be a lead. Who doesn't want that? Uh, command blocks can now be placed into slabs as well. So we've got ordinary command blocks and command block slabs. Dude, brilliant. Uh, we Yeah, let's not spawn the, uh, the uh, crazy wither. This is original puffer. So they brought back the original puffer texture, so that's a pretty good change. Uh, we have the introduction of some new blocks. We have reinforced plating and we have fish blocks. Man, this is, we need to call some serious people to have a discussion with Mojang, because that puffer fish does not look happy. Uh, pig texture has changed as well. Now you can officially duplicate your torches. Go back to game mode. Survival if you break your torches, they will then dupe they dupe every single time So if you want to dupe them get dupity duping just like this So one two three four turns into eight so you can you can dupe them crying obsidian has been officially confirmed to be crying more uh, And ladies and gentlemen, you can officially break bedrock in this update. So if we grab ourselves forward slash game mode creative we give ourselves a pickaxe. It needs to be an overworld uh, diamond one. Uh, obsidian at Y level zero can now, uh, not obsidian, bedrock can now be broken. So be very, be very, very careful. But we need to go and do this again because I did it in creative. I need to show you guys in survival, don't I? Don't, don't do this just yet. All right. So that goes there. Back to game mode survival. And boom! The theory is busted. You can now break up bedrock. It's not quite up. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Kinda hurt. The latest introduction to the game is backpacks. We now have backpacks. Now, they are continuously with you. They will continuously follow you. If you right click on your backpack, you can put your stuff inside of there. And. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Don't recommend doing that with the backpacks. Uh, yeah, you guys have been asking how can you earn mine coins in game? Well, it's official. You can now earn mine coins in game. You find these just in your worlds. That's how you get them. We have melon that's changed. The lodestone has now changed. Uh, of course, the lodestone can still be placed in the overworld, by the way. Bookcases have now changed. Uh, this is... I'm not quite sure what I did here. We, we, we do need to find what this one was. That's what it is. Uh, sky ships have been added to the game in the form of sheep. Sheeps can now be placed directly with holding sheeps. Um, let's go through the rest of these. Glass has been updated to make it completely viewable, which is the same with the beacon. The beacon's also been updated. We now have jetpacks added to the game. Added to the game is jetpacks. So who would not want a jetpack introduced to the game? After all these years, Mojang has been holding the jetpacks away from us. As of today, they are now available in the game. Alrighty, before we go and visit the Red Dragon, something else that has also been introduced as well is you can now craft chain armor. Uh, they made it quite difficult to do though. You, you do need command blocks to do this, so yeah. Bit of a strange one, but you can now craft it using the chain commands. Also introduced to the game is the umbrella. Uh, it helps you when it's raining. Uh, yeah, it's giant lily pad, I think it's meant to be, but it's really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, we also have the introduction of TNT duper. So the TNT does dupe. I don't know how often this works though. Oh, there you go. There's one. And there is two. So we have a TNT, a du duper officially introduced to the game. We also have the introduction of new structures. This is a giant. Giants have now been re-added to the game. Uh, and they're... Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, you kind of don't want to mess around with them. We have new structures. I don't know what this is though, but they do randomly spawn. Uh... I don't know what they hold though. Oh, okay. They hold death by the looks of things. Oh! Those things generate volcanoes. I forgot to mention these. These are a new introduction to the game. Volcanoes are finally in Minecraft. They are very dangerous, but will be rewarding from my understanding. They are quite rewarding. And what mob are you? I have no idea what mob that is. But things will spawn in here. Now you can ob obtain quite a few blocks. So of course you've got the slate. Oh! The volcano is erupting. Uh oh. Something tells me... Oh my lord, dude. Okay, well that's not going to be good for the overworld, is it? Um, stay safe guys, we have giant magma, I don't even know what they're magma, I don't even know if they're called magma cubes, dude, these things look huge, uh, oh, look at the jump, <laughs> they're absolutely huge, and they just keep coming, so whenever you see a volcano, my advice would be to completely avoid it, alright, we, we do have a new type of dungeon introduced to the game as well, dungeons have finally been updated, uh, they're a little bit more challenging now, and what's available is a lot better. Although I don't see any of the mobs right now. Here we go, here's one. So these are the updated dungeons. Uh, eh, the loot's still not that great. We have a melon Uzi. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The melon Uzi's pretty good too. So that's that's a nice addition to the game. Alrighty. What else we can find in here? I feel like it's gonna have a couple more secrets. Well, the dungeons have been updated. I found quite a few of these in the Dark Oak Forests. So, Dark Oak Forests maybe just become a little bit more- Oh, there's another chest as well. Okay, this one doesn't seem to have any mobs around here. This is a lot better. A couple of, uh, mossy. Alright guys, so they have, uh, introduced a new dimension. So whenever you go to the end now, you either go to the original end, or you go to this new end, which has a red dragon. We just need to wait to load in a second. 
We need a forward slash game mode creative because this thing in uh, survival is quite difficult to contend with. So be careful of the red. Everything is red and dangerous inside of here. That's where these guys are from. Okay. You got a better jump, so we do have a jump ability as well. But in terms of our red dragon, here he is. After many, many years of waiting, they finally introduced the red dragon. Now, if you do manage to kill him, we will get ourselves a dragon head. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what the guy looks like when he's on your head. So, yeah, now they've introduced him. I think we should uh, try and kill him, right? Oh, we do have new types of skeletons as well. I couldn't kill him. You need friends. You can't do it solo. You need friends to kill him. Uh, we have new types of skeletons, though, and they do feature these little cuties. But these only spawn inside of here as well. So I think the Red Dragon is a great introduction to the game. I think Mojang have done good this update. It's about time we had a new dimension. It's about time we had a new boss, I guess. This guy's a lot stronger compared to the Ender Dragon, so... Be prepared for a little bit of a challenge. And that's all of this week's changes in the 20W14A snapshot. Let me know what you guys think about this. But go and download it for yourself. And make sure you guys check out the Minecraft Marketplace. There's some pretty good free content there. Catch you next time. Bye.